Welcome to Color Up. In this video, I'm gonna show you how I plan on playing craps this summer at DiceCon. Now you might be asking, well, what the heck is DiceCon? Well, it is a convention. There's some swag here for it. It is a convention for my club members. And we're hitting the Las Vegas, well not strip, but the Las Vegas area. And we're gonna be getting together, enjoying the game of craps together. Now this is for my members only, so if you're interested, go ahead and go to my website, colorup.club, become a member, and then after that, once you get into my community, then you can get all the information to know about DiceCon. So it is this summer, and we have got all kinds of events planned, but I do have to set a deadline for, there are plenty of events such as, there's options like going to the Mob Museum or the Neon Museum, the High Roller Ferris Wheel, a dinner together, a couple other things like that, that I need your reservations in by May the 5th. Also, I need to start putting in orders for the swag bags. So with your DiceCon admission ticket, you're gonna get uh, access to, I've rented out Casino Quest for an opening event and a closing event. And that's three hours on the first day and, and I believe two hours on the closing day. And hey, that alone, Casino Quest, they charge $25 an hour per entry. So you get the opening and closing events and you're gonna get a little swag bag. So that is gonna be limited to the first 75, so make sure you're one of the first 75. After that, I may have some, but I can't promise you that. So make sure you get in early, get registered for DiceCon and then RSVP for those events. Again, I'm gonna to have to make a cutoff at May 5th because I'm doing I'm buying as a group, getting the tickets for the different events. So RSVP, get your DiceCon tickets, be the first 75, but do that by May the 5th. DiceCon is spread out over three days, well, two and a half days. And it, although we do have some events planned as a group, again, those casino quests will all be together. A lot of it is just breakout times where you could just grab a few people and head out as a group together and then gamble. So the, we're gonna start on the Vegas Strip. Day two, we're going to be down on Fremont Street. And actually that's a good one. The very first event we have is a class and it's gonna be he headed up by a certified Golden Touch instructor. So we're gonna have a little Dice Influence class head by him, it's more of an introductory class, but he is certified and one of the lead instructors over at Golden Touch. You know who works with the Dominator if you're familiar with him. And then we're going to head out on a craps crawl and hit all the casinos along the Fremont Street. So it's gonna be a lot of fun. I hope to see you guys at DiceCon. But I wanted to get, I've been kind of thinking about how I wanna play. I wanna play aggressive, but still maybe start off kind of small. So this is most likely, I'm almost pretty sure, this is gonna be the strategy that I'm gonna play at DiceCon. First up, I'm gonna start out on the pass line. Great bet, right? I got a two to one advantage. And then I'm looking for a point to be established. It doesn't really matter what it is. At this point, I'm gonna make a total of three more bets. I'm trying to only invest $44 per shooter. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna work from the inside out. So we'll start covering the six and eight for $12 each. Now it's gonna depend on, you know, what point it is. If it's a six, I'll go ahead and cover the five. Uh, if it's the nine, it's still, I'm gonna be covering the six and eight. So I wanna start in the inside and work my way out. Now the next thing I'm gonna do is make a field bet to cover the rest of the numbers. I don't particularly like the field, but I will use it because it does cover two, three, four, nine, 10, 11, and 12. So we cover a lot of numbers. At this point, we're kind of looking like an iron cross. We're missing the five though, but you know, that's the only number I'm really worried about. Now, if I do roll the six and eight, you'll kind of see it's a, it's a wash. But um, for instance, let's say the six rolls, I'm gonna lose the field and get paid 14. I'm probably just gonna stick all 14 back in there and try it again. So, you know, maybe a four rolls here, I'm gonna get paid 14. And then I have enough to cover the next number, which will be the five. And then eight, I'm very close. You know, I could add $2 and cover another number. It's probably actually what I would do. So let's say I add two more dollars. Now I've got the 10 covered. I'm getting out of the field. I got the four and 10 covered. I got all my number, numbers covered. So, and if we can hit the two or 12, once we're in the field, we're even better off. So we're in the field for maybe one, two rolls, and that's it. Three rolls if we're kind of repeating the six and eight, but we're trying to get out of the field as quickly as possible and get across all the numbers. Now at this point, I'm just going to go up 
and then pull back on every roll of the dice. So no matter what rolls, if the five rolls, I'm gonna get 14. I'm gonna start pressing from the inside out. So the very first thing I would do, pick the six or eight. So let's take the six up, six dollars, and then it's my first collection. So as you can see, it's gonna be a little slow going to recoup my money, but I only start with 44 that I was willing to lose, you know, depending on the field loss, you know, maybe 50 bucks that I'm invested for a shooter. But it's gonna take some time to recoup my money, but in the meantime, I'm building up the bets. If I can get another hit, Let's say the 10 hit. So we're going to get paid 18 for that bet. The next number to press inside is going to be the eight. So we'll go ahead and take that up to 18 and I'm collecting a little more. So I collect 12 there. Hopefully you could start hitting some press numbers. Let's say, let's say the eight rolls right back. So 18 is going to pay 21. The very next number to press is the five or nine. I'm probably actually going to press the nine. I'm going to do that by placing odds, right? Where I can get paid three to two. At this point I've pressed up the nine and now I'm collecting 11. And I keep going from there. I just keep pressing from the inside out. Yeah, short rolls, they're not really gonna do very good for the strategy, but I'm gonna look for mid to long rolls. You know that 15 to 20 roll would be awesome. If I can hit a monster hand, hopefully one of you guys out there can roll that for me. That would be just fantastic because I'll be in great position with my numbers being pressed up. So let's go ahead and take a live roll and take a look at the dice con strategy. All right, at $44 a shooter, I'm gonna need four or $500 to go ahead and play this strategy. Now we do plan on, or I, at least I plan on, at least hitting a couple of them $5 tables that are around Vegas. So obviously you cut your bankroll and have to do this strategy. But let's go ahead and do it at a $10 table and start out with $10 on the line. And we'll have a new shooter. Hopefully one of my club members with a hot hand coming out. Here we go. Five, point is gonna be five. So we've got a bet on the five and we're gonna make three more bets. So let's go ahead and get the six and eight covered. So 25 to the dealer. Dealer, please place the six and eight. So we're gonna get a dollar and change. Get those set up, $24, $12 each. And then our fourth bet will be $10 in the field just to cover the rest of the numbers. The reason I'm doing that is so many times, I'll, these are great bets, right? The line bet, the six and eight but sometimes you'll see a roll and they'll just be rolling all the other numbers, you know, eight, nine, 10 rolls, and then the seven, right? So all those are wasted rolls. So that's, I'm not, I don't wanna waste any rolls. I wanna to try to get as many numbers as covered as I can. Here we go. Don't get me wrong, it's not a great bet, but that's what we're gonna go for. All right, eight. So this is kind of a situation where we're gonna lose the field. We're not gonna make any money here. So 12 is gonna pay 14. I'm probably gonna just stack it all up. All right, here we go. Let's see a field number. Yo, 11, there we go. Oh, I hit my light there. But 12 or 14 is gonna pay 14. Now this is probably enough to cover most of my numbers. So I can come out of the field and let's go ahead and get the acid dealer to place the four and nine. And we've got $8, so we're almost right there. You know, here's the other, there's 10. So let's go ahead and do that. Dealer, go ahead and place my 10. Hopefully we're playing at a casino that has automatic buys, but it, nonetheless, this will, this will work out just fine. So we're out of the field. We got the numbers covered. Now we're gonna start pressing from the inside out if we can, taking back a little bit of profit each time. Six, six easy. All right, 12 is gonna pay 14. I see some pennies in my rack, so actually, but I wanna press. So let's go 14 for our 12. And then we'll just press up maybe the sister number, the six hits, let's go ahead and press the eight. So we got an $18 bet there and we're gonna rack a few bucks, eight bucks there. So we're on our way to recouping our money and then hopefully winning big, nope, seven. All right, so we're definitely lost that hand. So we recouped what, seven bucks, eight bucks out of the 40 some that we invested. I use the term invested very loosely for crafts, but all right, I'm gonna have a new shooter. This is gambling, this is not investing. All right, $10 on the line. We got a new shooter and here we go, coming out. Yo, 11, frontline winner, we'll take that. So we'll just stack that. And again, you could, um, you know, you could press the line if you wanted to or whatever. All right, here we go. 10, 10 down there on the end, that's gonna be our point. 
So let's go ahead and drop the 24. We have the change to get the six and eight covered. And then we'll get down in the field for the 10 just to cover the rest of the numbers so we don't miss out on anything. And we'll see what happens. Six, easy. It's not the favorite number. That's not exactly what we want to hit because now we're kind of spinning our wheels. We lose in the field. 12 is going to pay 14. Let's just go ahead and stack it up. All right, let's see a field number shooter. Six, easy, all right, same problem. So this time we're gonna lose 14 and we're gonna get paid 14. So I talk about wasting rolls and that's the reason I'm betting the field, but now I'm wasting rolls. All right, that's, that's what happens sometimes. There's the 10 point hit. So we're gonna get paid on our pass line and again, this 14 bet is going to get paid 14. So the puck's going to go off. We'll go ahead and collect all of our money and that's going to be enough money to get the rest of our numbers covered. So just throw in another 10 or $2. We've got that $10 ready to go. We'll just set that back there aside for a second, wait for a point to be established. And then we got all the numbers covered. So here we go. Same shooter coming out four hard. All right, point set. Now we can use this money. Dealer, let's place the rest of the numbers. Oh, I actually didn't need that much. So we'll just rack that 10 bucks and we're recouping our investment. All right, here we go, same shooter. Five, no field, five. All right, I'm already out of some singles here. 10's gonna pay 14. Oh, some red in there. You got so many ones. Go ahead and, well, no, again, I want to press the inside. So let's pay 14. Dealer, press my six. Sure. Six or eight. I don't know at this point. I'm just guessing. So I'm going to rack eight. And here we go. I'm going to press a number and pull some back on every roll. There's that five. Again, it's going to pay 14. Dealer, let's go with the eight this time. Press up the eight to 18. Racking eight. So we're slowly recouping our money, but we're creating a position where we're making good bets. Ugh, seven. All right. We're not getting there quite. We're getting close. We're getting close. Puck is going to come off, but it hasn't worked out for us yet. All right. New shooter coming out. Get out on the line. And here we go. Seven front line winner. Let's just get paid on the line. My rack's all kind of a mess here. All right, same shooter looking for his point. Five is going to be the point. We kind of like that one. Covers our hole because of the because of how the strategy works. So let's go ahead and get twenty four to the dealer to get the six and eight. There we go, a little sloppy, but got there. Because now we got the five covered. So really the field number, if we roll that five, six, eight, we're not in bad shape. All right, everything's covered. Let's see if we can roll a field number though. We'll take it. No, not gonna happen. Seven, all right, that one's no good. So again, I'm out $44. That's what I'm invested for that shooter. I'm gonna bring enough for 10 shooters. Them short rolls are gonna happen. Maybe not with my club members, I don't know. Maybe all of them are great shooters. We'll see. We will see. All right, down on the pass line. Here we go. This time we got a hot shooter coming out. Four, four, easy. Four is the point. And we'll go ahead, 24 for the six and eight. Oh, I pulled out 25. There we go. And then $10 in the field just to cover some numbers for a roll or two. Here we go. Nine, center field nine. All right, we're gonna win there and probably we'll just place the five with their winnings and then stick around for one more roll. If we can get another hit, we can cover the rest of our numbers. Here we go. Three craps, it's great for the field. So that's gonna pay 10. And then now we can get out of the field. We don't want to be in there very long. So we can get the rest of the numbers covered. And now we're going to start pressing from the inside out while collecting. All right, let's see if we can make it happen. 
Dice off the table, no roll. Here we go. 10, uh, 10 the easy way. All right, so 10 is going to pay 18. And we can press the, whichever number we want, six or eight. So let's go take the eight up to 18. We're actually racking 12 there. So those are nice pays there. On our way to collecting our initial 44 back. 10, all right, 10 again. Again, it's gonna pay 18. Oh, there we go, 18. Let's go ahead and press the six up to 18, dealer. These are great bets. And again, we're racking 12. We're getting out of the hand a little slowly, but we're getting bets pressed up. All right, here we go. Eight, there we go, that's a good one for us. So 18 is going to pay 21, a little bit better payoff, and then we could uh, press up the five or nine. Let's just pick a number, we'll go with the five, and right now we're starting to collect a little bit bigger. We're collecting 16 this time. All right, one more hit, shooter. We're very close to being out of the hand if we're not already. Four point hit. So we'll just get paid there on the line and the puck's gonna go off. We'll just go ahead and click that and we're definitely out of the hand or this shooter's paid for. We'll see what happens. Place bets are off for the come out. We're just working on the line. Seven front line winner and that's my dice roll there but this is the time when we wanna see that seven. So we'll just take the win and rack it. And here we go. Nine point is nine. All right, out on the nine. Now we probably want to move this bet because we have it covered on the plast. All right, so we've got the six and eight pressed. We got the five pressed. If we hit another number, we're going to press the nine by placing odds. So that's how we're going to do that. Just keep from the inside out. Six, there we go. 18 is going to pay 21. So we're going to use 10 of it to press up the nine and we'll rack an 11. So now we got all the inside numbers pressed up a little bit, so this is great. And we're using it by using casino winnings. 10, we've hit that multiple times, but again, $18. We could press the 10. I usually like pressing the sister number. I don't know why, but I'm gonna press up the four instead. So we'll take that to 15 and we're racking 13 there. And because I'm only pressing $6 units, or five or six, depending on the number, as we get paid higher and higher, I'm actually pulling back more. So that's the plan. We wanna see a, a good, decent roll. We're in the middle of one now. Let's see if we can keep it going, and if I didn't just jinx it. Nine, all right, there we go, point hit. So 10's gonna pay 15 in the back, one to one in the front. Puck is gonna come off. And there we go. I can rack all that up. Ah. And then we'll see where we're at as far as what the new point is gonna be. We'll just start with $10. Here we go, same shooter coming out. 10, hard. All right, 10's the number of the session. So it's gonna to go to the 10, so let's go ahead and move it to the nine. Now I already had these numbers pressed up, so you know I could, um, rearrange things if I wanted to like for instance hey there's I got money on the four I could pull from my rack for starters and press up a number or I could say hey let's make my four ten and make my nine fifteen you could do that way or you could just kind of leave it and fill in the holes as you need um, I probably wouldn't ask the deal I just leave that 15 right there and just play it as it lays and and go from there so let's see what happens seven it didn't really matter what happened all right it all came down All right, we definitely made money on that shooter. How much, I'm not sure. We didn't make a whole bunch, but we were really starting to get into position where we're really start, gonna start collecting money. So I'm sure I'm down because of the first couple of sessions. I'll go ahead and add this up uh, just to see kind of where we stand. And that last session helped, or that last hand helped a little bit, but you know, not quite enough because we were down so, so much at the beginning, but you know. I'm looking for one big hand. All right, five, 10, 75, 80, 90. So we only lost 
we took a beating the first, what, what was it, three, maybe even four shooters. And then finally we had a, you know, not a super long roll, but a decent little hand and we won back most of our money. So hopefully we're not down too big of a hole. We have a big hand and we can actually go in the profit. So I'm pretty sure this is how I'm gonna play. It's pretty minimal investment, you know, about $44 per shooter on a $10 table. Hopefully we can play some $5 tables, but you know, start kind of small, press it up, just hope for that big hand and uh, gamble a little bit. So anyway, hope to see you guys at DiceCon. Remember, you gotta be a club member. So go check out my website, colorup.club first, and then we'll get you all the details. Again, deadline to RSVP for events, and then the swag bags end at 75. So make sure you get joined and signed up early. And until next time, good luck on coloring up. Oh,